वट इज डायनेमिक इक्विलीब्रियम वेल द वर्ड डायनेमिक मीन्स मोशन नो लेट कंसिडर दिस सिस्टम लेट दियर आर फाइव लेटर्स वॉटर प्रेजेंट इन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट नो वन लेटर वॉटर इज एंट्रिंग इन टू द वेसल एंड वन लेटर वॉटर इज एग्जिटिंग नो लेट मी आस्क यू वट अबाउट द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर प्रेजेंट इन द ऑब्जेक्ट वेल द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर इज स्टिल फाइव लेटर इन द ऑब्जेक्ट लेट मी रिपीट इट द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर इज स्टिल फाइव लेटर्स इन द ऑब्जेक्ट इट इज बिकॉज द रेट ऑफ एंट्रिंग वॉटर इन टू द ऑब्जेक्ट इज इक्वल टू द रेट ऑफ एग्जिटिंग वॉटर फ्रॉम द ऑब्जेक्ट आई मीन इफ वन लेटर वॉटर इज एंट्रिंग टू द ऑब्जेक्ट देन वन लेटर वॉटर इज एग्जिटिंग फ्रॉम द ऑब्जेक्ट हेंस वी से दैट एंट्रिंग एंड एग्जिटिंग ऑफ वॉटर इज इन इक्विलीब्रियम वी नो दैट वॉटर इज कॉन्स्टेंटली मूविंग सो फॉर द मोशन ऑफ वॉटर वी यूज द वर्ड डायनेमिक सो दिस सिस्टम इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डायनेमिक इक्विलीब्रियम वी आर वॉटर एंटर एंड एग्जिट फ्रॉम द सिस्टम बट टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर रिमेन द सेम टू समराइज दिस होल कंसेप्ट वी लर्न दैट इफ समथिंग इज इन डायनेमिक इक्विलीब्रियम द टोटल अमाउंट लाइक फाइव लीटर्स वॉटर रिमेन्स द सेम बट स्टिल दियर इज मोशन आई मीन लाइक मोशन ऑफ एंट्रिंग एंड एग्जिटिंग ऑफ वॉटर सो नोट इट डाउन दिस फंडामेंटल कंसेप्ट ऑफ डायनेमिक इक्विलीब्रियम नो लेट मी टीच यू दैट वट इज केमिकल इक्विलीब्रियम वेल कंसिडर अ बॉटल ऑफ कार्बोनेटेड ड्रिंक्स वी नो दैट एन द बॉटल द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस इज प्रेजेंट इन द स्पेस बिटवीन द लिक्विड एंड द कैप नो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस विल डिजोल्व इन वॉटर to form carbonic acid H2CO3 secondly carbonic acid will break down to form water and carbon dioxide gas hence we say that carbon dioxide move from gaseous phase to liquid phase and then from liquid phase to gaseous phase now a time will reach when 10 molecules of carbon dioxide gas will convert to liquid phase and at the same time 10 molecules of carbon dioxide gas will convert from liquid to gaseous state but remember that the total amount of carbon dioxide gas remain constant inside the bottle here we say that the speed of forward reaction is equal to the speed of backward reaction because 10 molecules of carbon dioxide gas convert from gaseous state to liquid state and 10 molecules of carbon dioxide gas convert from liquid state to gaseous state hence this point is called chemical equilibrium therefore we define chemical equilibrium as when the rate of forward reaction becomes equal to the rate of backward reaction this is called chemical equilibrium let me repeat it when the rate of forward reaction becomes equal to the rate of backward reaction this is called chemical equilibrium remember that at chemical equilibrium carbon dioxide gas still converts to liquid phase and liquid carbon dioxide gas convert to gaseous state we say that only their rates are equal so this is the whole concept of chemical equilibrium now let me teach you why chemical equilibrium is called dynamic equilibrium well consider previous examples of carbonated drinks we have learned that carbon dioxide gas convert from gaseous state to liquid state and then from liquid state to gaseous state inside the bottle and the total amount of carbon dioxide gas remains constant inside the bottle now a time will reach when the speed or rate of forward reaction becomes equal to the rate of backward reaction we know that this is called chemical equilibrium also we have learned that the word dynamic means motion now let me ask you is there any motion of carbon dioxide molecules at chemical equilibrium well your answer is yes gaseous molecules of carbon dioxide convert to liquid state and liquid molecules of carbon dioxide gas convert to gaseous state so this motion of carbon dioxide gas is happening at equilibrium 
hence we also call it dynamic equilibrium thus every chemical equilibrium is also called dynamic equilibrium let me repeat it every chemical equilibrium is also called dynamic equilibrium if you ask me why the answer is simple it is because particles of reactants and products still move from one phase to another phase finally let me teach you some exam question how can you explain that these reactions are in dynamic or chemical equilibrium well one mole of nitrogen gas plus one mole of oxygen gas react together to form two moles of nitrous oxide no nitrous oxide will break down to form one mole of nitrogen gas plus one mole of oxygen gas when we say that this reaction is in dynamic equilibrium or chemical equilibrium it means that the rate at which nitrogen gas plus oxygen gas react together to form nitrous oxide is equal to the breakdown rate of nitrous oxide to form oxygen gas plus nitrogen gas secondly in this chemical reaction one mole of nitrogen gas plus three mole of hydrogen gas react together to form two moles of ammonia gas nh3 at the same time two moles of ammonia nh3 gas break down to form one mole of nitrogen gas plus 3 moles of hydrogen gas when we say that this chemical reaction is in chemical equilibrium or in dynamic equilibrium it means that the rate of forward reaction is equal to the rate of backward reaction i mean the rate at which nitrogen gas plus hydrogen gas react together is equal to the rate at which ammonia break down to nitrogen gas plus hydrogen gas thus this is the whole concept of chemical equilibrium and dynamic equilibrium